LeBron watching his teammate Anthony Davis dominant in a performance against Phoenix that could be a foreshadowing of an early NBA playoff matchup early first quarter. That's Andre Drummond. That's Anthony Davis. The big man to the big man. The alley and the oop. Lakers take a 7 nothing early lead. Later in the first still. Lakers up a dozen. And it's Davis working baseline. He had double figures in the first quarter for the first time since his return from injury. And he was just getting started. How about on the defensive end? Jay Crowder. I don't think so, says Anthony Davis. Coming up fast from behind and making the block. Davis getting things done on both ends of the court for the Lakers. Later in the second, up by 14. Lakers. Anthony Davis working on Frank Kaminsky. Yes, he had 22 at the break. Lakers up a dozen. Third quarter, the lead is 15. And it's Anthony Davis doing it from the inside. It's Anthony Davis doing it from the outside. Count all three of those. He had 34 in the first three quarters. And he wasn't done. Fourth quarter, Lakers up 10. They still need more. And he's got it. That's Alex Caruso throwing it up. And it's Davis throwing it down. AD, 42 points. 12 rebounds, block three shots, and the Lakers get a win they needed. AD coming on strong. Just because we're a lower seed, we're not going to, um, you know, back down from anybody. We're going to come out and play Lakers basketball. And um, I think teams know that and uh, and fear that as well. What I've seen from LeBron today, he's – he'll be fine. Trust me, he'll, he'll be fine. Well, we will see. They're going to need both ends of that. After last night, they're a single game back of Portland for the sixth spot. Remember, the all-important sixth spot keep you out of the play-in tournament in the Western Conference. Our analytics still foresee them getting there, or winding up there, I should say, a 45% chance that they wind up in the play-in. And so let me bring in my favorite dynamic duo, and that is the big fella Kendrick Perkins and the not-quite-so-big fella Zach Lowe. And let me just start with you, uh, Big Perk, on that. Anthony Davis. Is that the formula? Watching him play right now, the way he's getting on a roll, can he be the best player in the Western Conference playoffs this year, Perk? Yes, he can, G. And look, a, he a healthy Anthony Davis is the best big in the game today. He's so skilled. We haven't seen a guy like him. He's a generational talent. And look, I could get into his offensive package all day long, but I'm going to talk about his effect on the defensive end. Being able to guard one through fives, chase down blocks, anchor in the defense. By the way, DeAndre Ayton had nightmares last night. He was tossing and turning all night. And you take this Anthony Davis with a 75% LeBron James, and they, they can have a playoff run deeper than the Mississippi River. <laughs> well, that's, that really is the question, Zach. If we don't see – if LeBron comes back and is as – well, I, let me just make it as simple as possible. Are we seeing the formula? Is Anthony Davis good enough to be the best player on a championship team right now? Yeah, I think so, especially if the second best player in this series is LeBron James. And as Perk said, the entire Western Conference was wide open and uncertain. If they watched that game last night – they're looking around like, uh-oh, everyone kind of forgot about these guys. If these guys are going to play like this, it's trouble. And I'll tell you what, the juiciest game left on the schedule is Phoenix against Portland this week because if Phoenix goes all out in that game, and I suspect they will, they can try and knock Portland down to seven, let the Lakers get to six. It's like Phoenix has a chance to almost pick their opponent if things get right for them and knock the Blazers down. And that's not the team anybody wants to play. But let me just say this. We're all talking about the performance of AD. It happened last night. But yesterday, Zach Lowe, I spent the whole day having people talking to me about the performance of Steph Curry from Saturday night. And that sort of sticks in my head, Zach Lowe, the idea of a one-game single elimination scenario, if you will, against Steph Curry. That's not fun for the Lakers or anybody, Zach. It's fun for fans. It might outrate all the playoff games. But, yeah, that is not fun for the Lakers. Look, the Lakers are better than the Warriors. But I'll tell you this. You look at the Warriors since Wiseman went out and they're playing more small ball. With Steph and Draymond on the floor, they're plus seven per 100 possessions for the season. Even more than that, much more when Wiseman's off the floor. That's the profile of a really good team. It's not just Steph who has gone scorched earth over everybody. It's that they have found an identity again. They make sense. And, yeah, you want one game game against Steph Curry for your season? No, thank you. What do you think, Big Perk? That could be the scariest thing the Lakers face the entire way. Well, well, Granny, first of all, I'm always jealous of guys that got colorful eyes, just like you and Steph. And I, you know what? Look, let me say this. 
Steph Curry is like Michael Myers right now. You do not want to see this guy down the dark alley. He is waiting on everyone. Right now, he's playing the best basketball of his career, and that's crazy to say. We're talking about a two-time MVP. He is zoned out right now, Greeny, and Zach Lowe, I'm agreeing with him today. I'm starting the week in on a positive, with a week off on a positive note. I'm not going to yell and scream. Zach Lowe is absolutely right. Playing Steph Curry for a one-game elimination to the play-in tournament is not something a lot of teams want to see. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.